Yo, are you looking to break into cybersecurity, but you're wondering how to gain real world identity and access management experience? Well, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through five powerful jobs that not only open the door for the tech industry, but they jumpstart your career in IM. So by the end of this video, you'll know which roles to target and how they can set you up for success in the most in-demand fields in cybersecurity. Let's get to it. Yo, what is up people? My name is Vine and I am an I am professional at a fan company and I landed my role with no certifications, no tech degree, and about nine and a half years of tech experience. And I want to share everything I've learned with you along my journey. So I have this channel and it's all about helping aspiring tech pros and career changes find their path in cybersecurity, especially identity and access management. So whether you're just starting out or making a transition, I've got you covered. There we go. All right, so here are my top five jobs for gaining IM experience. That being said, these jobs are not necessarily IM specific jobs, but each of these jobs have some form of IM related work involved where you can beef up your IM skills and apply that information to your resume. And that being said, let's start with job number one, which is the help desk technician job. And this is this is the first line of defense as a result to resolving basic technical issues that are IM related, software, hardware related, and of course, escalating complex issues accordingly. That being said, common tasks that you can expect on a help desk job is taking initial calls, emails, tickets, or even walk-ups from internal employees that need help troubleshooting, whether it be a simple hardware, software, networking problem, you're the person that's going to help them. Of course, you're also going to assist with password resets, account unlocks, access issues, and modifications. You'll also recognize and escalate more difficult problems to tier two or other departments, depending on how your organization works. And then of course, you're going to log all call activity in a ticketing system. That being said, the common skills needed for this job is great customer service. You want to have good communication. You want to be eager to learn and assist. You also want to have basic understanding of computers, networking, and troubleshooting. And this job may require the CompTIA A plus certification depending on your organization. Some organizations make it a requirement while others don't. And then this role may require up to zero to two years of IT or computer experience. Now, the average salary in Texas for a help desk technician is about four forty to $54,000, and that is according to Robert Half. Now, the key takeaway for this job is you're building foundational IM knowledge and problem solving skills. Job number two is the IT support specialist, which is a step up from the help desk technician role in terms of complexity and the issues that are being resolved. Now, the importance of this job is the IT support specialist is responsible for troubleshooting and resolving technical issues that are related to computer, hardware, and software, providing assistance to users with system access, software installation, and basic network troubleshooting, ensuring smooth operation of computer systems within an organization, often by responding to user inquiries via phone, ticketing system, email, or in person. Now, a daily task for this role consists of resolving IT support requests from internal employees or your end users, gathering and analyzing data to diagnose problems with computer systems, configurations, and setting permissions to fix computer issues, setting up and onboarding new hires and terminating former employees, installing new software and hardware drivers, and updating them as needed, and of course, logging all service requests and updating tickets as needed. Now, the common skills needed for this job is, of course, good customer service. You want to have excellent communication. Ideally, you want to have about two or more years of hands-on experience with Active Directory, Entra ID, multi-fact authentication, troubleshooting complex software and hardware issues, and computer issues. Uh, you also want to have good understanding of networking IT security protocols, and this job may require the CompTIA a certification. It truly depends on the organization you're working at. Now, the average salary in Texas for an IT support specialist is about fifty-three dollars to $80,000, and that is according to Glassdoor. And the key takeaway is you're going to develop hands-on IM experience along with tech technical troubleshooting expertise when you're fulfilling an IT support specialist job. Job number three is the IT security analyst, which in some cases is considered the InfoSec analyst as well. But the importance of this job is to protect an organization's computer systems and networks from cyber attacks and data breaches. They implement, plan, and monitor security measures and investigate data breaches. Now the daily task for an IT security analyst is to install and maintain firewalls and data encryption software, develop security standards and best practices, identify risk and vulnerabilities in network systems, respond to computer security breaches and viruses. They also assess system vulnerabilities for security risk and propose and implement risk mitigation strategies. Now, the common skills needed for a job like this is cloud security and data protection, risk assessment, risk management, threat hunting and threat intelligence, troubleshooting security issues, proficiency in same tools like Splunk and similar tools. And a job like
like this may require a bachelor's degree in computer science or other related fields and a CompTIA Security Plus certification. And the average salary in Texas for an IT security analyst is about $107,000 to $170,000 a year, and that's according to Glassdoor. And the key takeaway is you're gaining foundational cybersecurity experience with a focus in info security. Job number four is the system administrator, and these are IT professionals that are responsible for the day-to-day -day management and maintenance of computer systems within an organization, including installing, configuring, updating software, managing servers, ensuring system security, troubleshooting issues, and performing backups. This is a more technical role than all of the jobs I've listed so far, and this is a very good job to land because you're, you're pretty much building extremely technical skills with IT infrastructure management. That being said, the daily task consists of performing survey administration tasks such as user group management, security permissions, group policies, your monitoring, data center health in response to hardware issues, maintaining internal infrastructure such as laptops, desktop servers, routers, firewalls, supporting internet, intranet, LAN, WAN, and network segments, assisting help desk teams with troubleshooting and providing technical support for those more complex issues that are escalated, and you're conducting routine audits of systems including backups. Skills needed for a job like this. You want to have a strong understanding of operating systems like Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Aside from that, you want to be proficient in network administration protocols like TCP, IP, DNS, DACP, knowledge of system security best practices and tools, experience with scripting languages like PowerShell or BAS, ability to troubleshoot complex technical issues, excellent communication and problem solving skills. And according to Glassdoor, the average salary in Texas for a system administrator is about $92,242,000 dollars a year. And the key takeaway is you're combining technical IT skills with advanced security responsibilities. Job number five is the GRC analyst, which is the governance, risk, and compliance analyst. And these professionals are responsible for evaluating and managing an organization's compliance with relevant regulations by assessing risk, developing policies, implementing controls, and monitoring adherence to ensure overall security and data protection. Now, the daily task for a GRC analyst consists of ensuring compliance with industry and government regulations like ISO 27001, GDPR, NIST, PCI DSS, HIPAA, and more. They also conduct risk assessments and vendor evaluations. They develop and revise policies and standards and guidelines. They test and monitor the effectiveness of security controls and research threats and aid risk mitigation activities. The common skills a GRC analyst should have is they may need a bachelor's degree in information security, computer science, or a related field. They're also going to need to understand key compliance frameworks like ISO 27001, NIST, SOC, GDPR. They also need experience with risk assessment methodologies, strong analytical and problem solving skills, excellent communication and presentation skills to convey complex information to various stakeholders, proficiency with GRC software tools and relevant certifications like the CISA, CISSP, CISM can be very beneficial to land a GRC analyst role. Now, the average salary in Texas for a GRC analyst, according to Glassdoor, is about ninety-four dollars to $169,000 a year. The key takeaway is you're going to gain strategic IM experience with aligning processes with business and compliance goals. So here's the big takeaway. IM is not just a technical skill, but it is a business, a critical function that every organization needs. So starting in one of these five roles gives you hands-on experience, industry exposure, and these jobs help set up a solid foundation whether you're looking to be an IM engineer, a consultant, or a manager in the near future. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you found this helpful please like, share, and subscribe and if you have any questions or video ideas do drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time keep pushing forward. You've got this.